Hello everyone, this is your coach Keita Dubey and welcome back to my channel. So today what I'll be discussing uh, in continuation, it's going to be the best inspirational short story with the motivating moral. This story which I'll be talking about today has inspired so many people and it is one of the most important, I think, tasks you can or a skill you can learn. So before I do that, please don't forget to press the like button and press the bell icon so you can get notifications whenever I'm back with more videos. And of course, uh, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that that's going to give me a lot of encouragement to come back and make such more videos. So with all that, let's get started. So the question which we'll be addressing in this today is going to be about do you struggle to focus in the task where you should focus more? So a lot of people have a hard time understanding about the time management and how they should go about it. So this story is all going to speak about that. So let's talk about rocks, pebbles the sand story that can help you to make intelligent decision. In this video, I would briefly tell the story and few lessons you can take away. So the story is rocks, pebbles and sand. So here is the story rocks, pebbles and sand. Once a philosophy professor stood up before his class with a large mayonnaise jar. He asked his students if the jar was full. The students said, yes, the jar is full. He added few pebbles and shake the jar and asked the students again, is the jar full? The now the professor poured sand in the jar and fill up all the empty spaces. The students that agree that the jar is completely full now. Professor went on to explain all the items in the jar presented every responsibility and the task that is the part of your life. So let me explain now. Rocks are equivalent to the most important projects and responsibilities, such as spending time with the important people, maintaining healthy habits. This means that if the pebbles and sands were lost, the jar would still be full and your life would have meaning. Pebbles. Pebbles represent the things in your life that matter, but you could live without. Pebbles are certainly things that which give your life meaning such as job, house, hobbies and friendships. They are not critical for you to have a meaningful life. These things often come and go. And finally, the sad. The sand represents the remaining fillers in your life, the material possessions we can say. These could be small things such as watching television, browsing through your favorite social media sites, or focusing on what you, what you would purchase next. These things don't mean much, okay? So please keep them in your mind. And they don't have that meaningful part in your life. Okay. So these are sands. In fact, you can argue that sand activities are major distractions in your life and keep you away from doing the most important ones. Because I think we can put it like that. Because if you're doing too much of sand activities, which don't add purposeful meaning to your life, 
rather they are keeping you away from what you are supposed to do which is more important okay if you stand with the stand you won't have room for rocks and pebbles you'll agree to that correct if you start with something you're spending time endlessly on your social media platforms or something which does not have that meaningful impact over your life so you would not have room left for something which is very important like rocks or pebbles and if you keep focusing and spending your time on small even significant things you will run out of time for the things that actually are important in order to have more effective life pay attention to your rocks because they are critical to long term well being these rocks include building a career that could be personally rewarding to you paying close attention to your health and spending time with your family and loved ones enjoying hobbies that add value to your life see i have emphasized or emphasize on the hobbies which are adding value to your life right so you must able to in other my videos i've talked about hobbies are different from the pleasures right so please make sure that you have a passion or a hobby which are adding to your life okay so you can always go back and to see some of those videos where i've talked in detail how you can identify what are hobbies what are pleasures and how what you get joy out of okay <clears throat> and then investing your money into experiences so once you start understanding the critical aspects of rocks in your life so you start to spend your money in more experiences rather than possessions okay so you become more aware and rather than just spending money mindlessly you become more aware of it and you want to experience it more for some be, uh, people for some of my clients that could be in the form of traveling so they would love to travel and they would love to go to the different parts of the world and see their culture right so everything becomes very meaningful when you start paying attention to your rocks building a solid relationship with your spouse or family again the relationships improve your money or financial aspect improves because now you're paying more attention to the things which are very important to you for your long term well being correct so rocks are your priority while other things in your life are represented by pebbles and sand So make sure that you remember this story the rocks which you have to do it every day they are your priorities right and all the other things in the story such as pebbles and sand they take the second priority or the third priority to focus what's important it's best to have maximum five rocks in the jar so like professor was showing them uh, as an analogy a jar so you can have maximum of five box right so try to work like this if you use this method so just see what are the five most important rocks you're working on the daily basis so the big lesson here or the moral of the story is if you're able to identify the important things as rocks in your life ahead of time set aside the time you need to work on it's okay to procrastinate or a bit on pebbles and sand as they are not as important so it's very very important for you like you can take down a note here that to identify your rocks well so take your time and identify your rocks well prioritize them set aside time for them so that you don't miss out on them and keep refocusing back again on the pebbles or the sands which are not so important So please remember your rocks are the most important things in your life. Okay? They are the highest priority in your life and you have to spend more time on them and you have to delegate a full attention or focus on them all the time to have a long-term well-being. So with that that was the end of the story and it was very inspirational. I hope you enjoyed it. and you will remember what are your rocks what are your pebbles and what is your sand from next time always prioritize your work or your task in the same form which are your rocks and also pick five uh, rocks at the maximum when you're working on something so that you can keep 
uh, refocusing on them, which are most important tasks or in your life. Okay. And also, uh, please don't forget to press the like button and the bell icon so that um, you can get notifications whenever I'm uploading some more videos. And do let me know in the comments uh, which one of the tips or uh, which one of the things really got your attention. I hope uh, it was rocks. Please do write rocks in the comment below. And do visit my website which is www.geetadube.com and also share this video with somebody. They might need uh, to hear it at this point of time. Last but not the least, please do subscribe to my channel and I'll be back again with more business growth tips, life and motivational tips. You all have a wonderful day.